folks, I suppose to, to wrap up, where are these two now? We obviously have a big break coming up in the URC. We've got the two European rounds. So all eyes will then uh, shift to, to the Six Nations. So where do these two stand, Eddie, ahead of all of that? Well, Leinster stand where they normally do. Like They're still top of the table despite tonight and they're locked and loaded for Europe now. They're going to be very fresh and they'll have a you know, full metal jacket approach to that. Um, so things don't change for Leinster. It's onwards and upwards. Uh, tonight, a little bit of a hiccup. I think for Ulster, it's bigger. They got a win they needed. Uh, s still, in terms of where they're trying to get to in their game and their development in their game, they, maybe you could argue they took a step forward tonight, but they still need to become that team that can build pressure and put teams away when they're in, on the front foot. Tonight again, they, they you know they they got there, but there was lots of ways they might have lost that game. And the fact they won it probably gives them something to build on. But had they lost it, it could have been pretty bereft of ideas going home. But I have to say, there's plenty of work to do for Ulster. As always for them, it's about consistency, which we still haven't seen yet, if you want an honest answer on that. Yeah. And from uh, from my point of view, I think if I'm Leinster fan or I'm the manager, I'm not that worried. It's a one-off game. The only sort of, I think from a defensive point of view, uh, I think they'll continue to grow and you will play against teams that will kick the ball. But nine times out of ten, that'll skid into touch or it doesn't go to hand. And then you, it, there will be times you concede. The only question mark I still have is just the number 10 um, dilemma. A month ago, it looked like Frawley was getting an opportunity. They've gone out of their way not to pick him there. Very tough night for Predergas in those conditions. Harry Byrne looked like he'd come on and change the game. The kick at the end was costly. From an Ulster point of view, in terms of momentum, amazing result. The concern will be if those balls don't bounce perfectly, they've left here and they've probably lost 25, 20 at nil and we're having the exact same conversation. They need to learn to keep the ball. We spoke about repeat sets before the game. Uh, they still get uh, let teams relieve pressure too easy. They did it tonight and they got away with it. Okay, well, before we 